Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Should I just stop getting old? Stop having birthdays. Okay, that sounds fine. Then you can still pick me up. Okay. Yesterday, the school bus got stuck in all of our fresh snow. Today, the roads were clear, but it's still quite snowy and cold. Nick is working on his doors, doing the, the finishing work to get a nice, smooth, beautiful surface on the wood that we harvested here from our own trees. But it's awfully cold outside, so he's working right in our living room with little Sadie as his sidekick. It's a good sound. Dad! Whoa! We are putting yet another light coat of oil on the doors. So you just keep giving it oil until it's not thirsty anymore. You don't want to leave any on top. It's almost exactly like a cast iron pan. You don't want to leave oil just sitting on the top because it'll get gummy. You want to put on just as much as the wood can drink. For anybody who's just joining us, the raised panels are pine and the styles and rails are fir. And the pine tree came from right outside that window. I think you can actually see the stump. Um, that tree. We have bluing, which comes from beetle kill but also from uh, higher moisture levels while, uh, while drying. You'd, you'd never get bluing in kiln dried lumber. It's a product of slow air drying. And then we actually add some mold growth uh, on this, but it's, it's since stopped and the oil will yeah, not let stopped. that out. Yeah. I so the sort of the leopard blue black was uh was growth but uh, i think it looks pretty neat uh -huh. so all of that adds up to a whole lot of character true winter conditions for me means that i slow down a bit It takes extra work to take care of my chickens because they have to be given fresh water pretty regularly. At eight or nine or 10 degrees outside, the water freezes pretty quickly and they need fresh water to be healthy and to lay their eggs. I sorted my seeds, which was on my list of things to do this week. It took me about five minutes. I am so ready. As soon as the snow is off the ground, I have my plan of attack. I have my seeds all ready. I'm going to plant so much. But right now, there's too much snow. I just have to wait. Everybody around here makes something. Dad makes beautiful things out of wood and steel. Mom makes videos and books and sometimes potato casseroles. The kids are learning to make things too. 
that's really what we've fought for and why we're so willing to give up the world for this strange life up in the woods. We want a life where we can believe in our own capacities to feed ourselves, yes, but also to make our own beautiful life. This is a picture of an ogre in his cave with his hoard, with his, with the treasure in his hoard. And here's gold, silver, and bronze. Here's a sword and a crown. Here's a sword, a gem, and a gem. Bye. The dinner dish is one that a few of you have asked about. It's just potato uh, casserole or chicken casserole with potatoes as the starch. A very basic gravy made with butter and flour and chicken broth. And then we're lucky to have some of our own dried oregano from our oregano plant, which goes really well with the, the flavors. And then you just combine that gravy with your already cooked and sliced potatoes and your uh, already cooked and cut chicken and you put it all in your cast iron in the oven um, to warm through and thicken up and then it's a great one dish meal for a cold night. I think what we're finding out here is that a creative life or what we might call the beautiful life doesn't come for free. You have to give up some distractions and you have to give up some laziness it's very easy to be told that you can make your own life and you can make your own dreams come true. But there's a disconnect when you discover how many steps it takes to get from a vision to executing that. When you discover how much patience it takes to develop a craft, to get really good at something, anything, whether it's drawing or woodworking or even cooking a meal. This really is the thing that we've fought for and the thing that we've been willing to fight for is the ability to teach our children that they can make their own beautiful life.